Good height from both athletes. <laughs> There's the <laughs> star <laughs> wheel. We are back, you dead set legends. And before we get into our main event, I have the honor, I have the privilege to call up one of the greatest arm wrestlers of all time, one of the strongest arm wrestlers of all time. And I am talking about the cyborg, Dennis Saplenkov. Clap your hands, Dennis Saplenkov, everyone. Dennis, welcome to King of the Table 5. But I gotta know, why are you here? Денис, добро пожаловать на King of the Table 5. Но всем любопытно, почему ты здесь? Спасибо организаторам, то, что позвали в гости. Очень рад вас всех видеть. Всем привет. Познакомился с Ларри, потренировались. Ну и с организаторами общаемся. Может быть, в следующем году получится вернуться за стол и побороться у вас на King of Table. Uh, very pleased to see you all. I'm glad to be here. Thank you, Larry, we, that we met. We made a training. Yeah. Um, to the organization itself, of course. Um, yeah, and um, hopefully in a year, maybe in the king of a table, it will be nice for me to come back. We can just, uh, g yeah, give him a clap, guys. Give him a clap. This is unbelievable to be standing here next to a living legend. Uh, just quickly, Dennis, do you want to give everyone an update? Everyone loves you, and we just want to know, how is this rock-solid body feeling? Uh, Денис, uh, всем интересно узнать, uh, скажи, пожалуйста, как uh, твое каменное тело себя чувствует на данный момент? Ну, начал тренироваться, обследование прошел, врачи дали добро, начал тренироваться, потихоньку уходим в свои кондиции. Ну, в целом, все получается, но нужно спрогрессировать процентов на 30, чтобы можно было с уверенностью полной выйти к столу. So, I did all the tests, uh, analysis. Uh, my doctors are giving me a green light to go. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, but step by step, I need to progress. I need to be progressing more. And I'm still kind of 30% out of my previous shape, out of my prime and uh, looking forward to be there. Oh, one last question before I let you go, Dennis. Everyone watching here and on the pay-per-view, they want to know, we want an exact date and an exact opponent. When will we see Dennis Oplenkov on the table and against who? Последний вопрос, Денис. Есть ли у тебя какие-то даты, конкретные сроки, когда, где и, конечно же, против кого ты хотел бы или планируешь выступить? Ну, мы планируем, наверное, на следующий King of Table, который будет в феврале. Насчет соперника мы еще решаем, но это будет э, пока не очень крепкий соперник. Ну, будем, решим, кто это будет. Ну, а дальше посмотрим по мере, скажем так, 
восстановление моего по мере тренировочного процесса. Выберем что-то достойное и будем уже непосредственно дальше смотреть, что из этого получится. So considering my shape right now, uh, we'll be looking for the next king of the table, which is in February. When it comes to an opponent, I still don't know. It's um, we're still deciding, and uh, we'll see who is gonna be. Not nobody uh, super strong, of course, because I need to get in this as uh, uh, considering my shape, as I said. Uh, so we'll see. All I heard was I'm challenging Larry Wheels. That's all I heard there. Dennis versus Larry at the next King of the Table. Uh, Dennis. It's an absolute honour. It's an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much for joining us here at King of the Table 5. Get a good seat and enjoy the main event. Денис, uh, огромная честь, uh, удовольствие и просто очень рад тебя видеть здесь. Uh, наслаждайся этой атмосферой, этим турниром. И еще в самом начале uh, Джейк сказал, что... Он бы хотел видеть тебя против Ларри на следующем King of the Table. Как организаторы скажут. Всем большое спасибо. Thank you. Будем смотреть дальше поединки. Uh, big thanks to the organization, to everybody else. Uh, and let's see the next match. There it is. The cyborg himself. Dennis Saplankov, ladies and gentlemen. The living legend, thank you very much. What a dead set legend. And I'll tell you, can someone get me some ice for my hand? That has just turned into dust. He is strong. He is looking thick. And get excited. Dennis Saplenkov will be back on an arm wrestling table sooner than you think. But the time is over. The time is now. The time for two people to show that they are the best in the world. Two people to climb in the top five of the rankings and get everyone talking about the next time that they could possibly take on Levan Saganishvili. I am talking about our main event, Easy Money, Dave Chafee versus the Russian bear, Vitaly Leletin. Oh, wow, has R.L. Stein just turned up because I've got goosebumps. That was unbelievable. The time is now, the main event is now. For the first time ever, we are seeing two of the best in the world go at it and the time is now. Ladies and gentlemen, your first member, your first titan in the main event. It's the Russian bear. Vitaly Leletin. Vitaly Leletin is back to a super match arm wrestling. Haven't even seen him pull internationally since 2019. At one point, ranked number two arm wrestler on the planet, has given the biggest, the toughest match to Levan Saganashvili and for many considered to be the man that can challenge the king. Today is his return versus really formidable foe, Dave Chafee. We can see the focus and determination of this giant. And he really is giant. Standing six foot seven, that's 204 centimeters tall. Just big, biggest Vitali we have seen in a while. 135 kilograms bicep as big as forearm that's impressive for a man of his size the man mountain is here but he has to look across the other side of the table ladies and gentlemen easy money dave chafee here he comes, ladies and gentlemen, Easy Money Dave Javey, the titan of USA arm wrestling. 
a long time elite arm wrestler at the super heavyweight level. He has been as high as number two in the world. He's challenged Levon Sagnashvili, and tonight we will see him facing Vitaly Levitin for the first time. He looks mean. He looks tough. He's a proper hardened, seasoned arm wrestler. This man is not the epitome of strong. When we think about what style he brings to the table, power is it. Standing at 188 centimeters or six foot two at 45 years old, 126 kilos, biceps, 20 inches, forearms, 18.1. Dave Chafee is ready. Dave versus Vitali. This is it. Big match here, right? This this is our main event. This is a match that the arm wrestling world has wanted to see for for a long time. It, two, two of the absolute best, right here. Absolutely, Dave has always like he's on that line where he's the best in the world. He has come really close to it, but just haven't achieved it. Now, Vitali is the same. The very critical first round. If we look at the setup, so you can see Vitali. He is sitting down somewhat. He's levering off his elbow, looking to control height. He's got good purchase on the thumb of Dave Chevy, who isn't settled they there. They will not take it. I feel it's gonna be referee's grip. Look for Dave to try to get onto tricep side of his elbow and rise up just before they get to the ready go. The longer arm of Vitali, you expect him to go to the low hand top roll at some stage. How soon will he go there? Will Dave control the top of the, the table? We find out right now. Big now, big move now. Center. Okay, hold on, guys. We're going to go to ref. Dave is looking uncomfortable. Or I think that's yes. the game plan. Maybe it's yeah. the game plan. Might be the game plan. We know that endurance is a big factor. He wants to conserve energy. He doesn't want to perhaps blow his hand in the setup. Yeah. So happy to go to ref yeah. script. Or the other hand, as you say, maybe it's Vitaly and his static back. strength at center that's yeah. imposing right now. Yeah. We will learn a lot from Don't this move. round. I'll be very disappointed if this doesn't turn out into a war. Here we go, ref script. Both guys looking high. Move. Looking pretty even. <laughs> good start, good power. Exactly what we expected. Yes. Balance right in the Balance. center. Yeah. You can see the rising, Ooh, the rising I pressure. Mm -hmm. I have goosebumps. <laughs> this, is, this is it. Dave's looking composed. Now, in the straps. I feel like... Is, uh, I feel like the man who can keep their knuckles highest is going to be in control here. Dave oh, Chafee looked yeah. good through the wrist, looked good through the fingers, but the side pressure of Vitaly Letton looked very statically strong. Ex look, look for Vitaly to explode sideways with a low hand top roll, and look for Dave to try to keep the wrist flat with his knuckles high. And just drive sideways. Close your just drive sideways. Yeah. Whoever controls the wrist here will have the keys to controlling this entire match. Vitaly Letin most likely possesses one of the best, if not the best, top roll on the planet. He is the top roll king. So, if he's, he's going to use that long lever of his, if he has yeah. to defensively top roll, we've seen him be able to hold Levan Saganashvili at center in that round one for a long time. It took a long time to get through the defense. Dave Chafee has a big task here to get through that. Vitaly Letin, Dave Chafee, round one. Here we go. Cover still. Okay. Cover. Okay. Don't move. Looks pretty even till now. Let's see who takes the first one. Good height from both athletes. <laughs> There's the start. We are locked center. at center, and it is a battle of the wrist. Dave loses the hand, but wrist position there. On. Good pronation control, good back pressure. Side pressure from Dave Chafee. Both guys wow. being patient here right now. Vitaly Valetin in a defensive posture, but he's losing his wrist ever so slowly. Dave Chafee He there. doesn't want to move. If he moves, he might open himself up. This is why he's stuck in a place. Dave Chafee Dave standing comes back up. up, getting behind his arm Dave's into a press, press. and Whoa. gets the pin. <laughs> Dave Chafee, <laughs> this, oh, well. this will be a war. I guarantee this will be a war. Absolutely. Dave lost his hand on the first one. Let's have a look at the replay because what a balanced match that was. Yeah. You can see the commitment nice there. Press the press, but as you say, the reason he had to go for that press was he could feel his hand was going to gas. So he committed. He went, pull the trigger now. Yeah. What that means is the later rounds, his hand is going to be worked. Yes. Also, he he felt that he trapped Vitaly. If Vitaly moves, he will open himself up and Dave can just drive him down. 
So Vitaly choose to stay on that place, which I think might have been a good strategy, because if you're looking for the win in later rounds, that's what you want to do. Put more bleed on that hand, more bleed. Let's see where the endurance for both of these athletes is. Yeah. Like Vitaly, like I said before, like Vitaly that we know could sit for nine minutes and had those long matches and had, you know, that was nine, sorry, 110 kilo Vitaly. But Vitaly really does, he, he puts the onus on his opponent to force the issue. There is, due to the, the, the shape and the length of the arm, the biomechanics of his defense, he's able to prop his long arm up there because he's got height, he's got pronation and that long levering back pressure that he has prevents his opponent from actually getting through. Sorry about the, the sound interruption there, but we, Vitaly Lalletin, you can see there, composed. He looks a little concerned. He knows he's in a fight, but he has all the tools and the endurance. We know Dave's hand is going to be he pumped already. He has to do the same thing. Same mm -hmm. thing. Just keep working on it. Keep working on it. And hope your back pressure doesn't fail before mm -hmm. Dave's back pressure. Exactly. Because Dave, right now, you can see it. He, he knows he's in a war. When you're 1-0 up, but your hand feels this pumped, People think you're in a good place, but you're, you're more about damage control right now. You're thinking, how do I get through this next round without losing my hand completely? But Dave Chafee looking good there. Not a lot of number two. Not a lot of sweat on Dave's forehead yet. He looks pretty com pretty composed. There was a, a good amount of patience from both guys there, and it was Dave who decided to pull the trigger first and look for the decisive pin. And he, by committing to that press, getting it on this occasion. Fascinating round two lies ahead. Round one was very similar what we saw versus uh, Vitaly versus Levan. That gave it a little bit of more information for us. Dave is most dangerous on those first two rounds. Yeah, if you, if you take Dave's uh, track record, of, uh, I can't think yeah. of the last time he lost the first two rounds. He is yeah. dominant in the early stages of every match that he pulls. Yeah. Last time he lost, it was just 11. Okay. Just fixing some table yeah, technicalities the cameras, here. The cameras need to be fixed so we can see all the angles. So if there's needed to look at a replay, we know. Yeah. Who, who does this give an advantage to? To get a little bit of an extra break, who, who needs it more right now? I feel the longer it goes, it doesn't favor Dave. L like last time, it, the matches with, with uh, let's say, Gennady went really quickly, really quickly, and then he just got blown. So you can see the, the grip being negotiated here once again. Dave Chaffee, again, looking unsettled, deliberately probably looking for that uh, ref's grip. He's not at all interested in looking for a start outside of the ref's grip. Looks like a tactical decision. It seemed to work for him in round number one. Dave is a very rigid rules kind of guy. He doesn't like it to be drawn out. He just yeah. says, let's, yeah, yeah, let's yeah. get center and go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dave loves the classic WF rules. Hands up. Round number two, Dave Chafee won on a scoreboard. Vitaly Laletin stopped the match, but Don't just move. couldn't get out of it. Don't move. Interestingly, no one, they, they haven't elected for the strap. Don't Both move. guys still backing themselves to win the fatigue outside of yeah. And good wow. start there, Dave Chafee. Good start from Dave. Beautiful. Coming over the hand of Vitaly Laletin. He, the corner man, giving instructions there. What did they say then? He right? said uh -huh. he doesn't understand the com commands that is uh, ref giving. So Vitaly perhaps missing the, the commands there yeah. and Dave getting In the King jump. In the table, there is no ready. There is just go. So, but everything else is the same as it has been forever. An arm missing wrist, wrist knuckles, you know, center, rotation. Now, Dave, you can see slightly just edging Sorry, ahead in this six-round super match right now. He's Up. he's well, happy no, no, with no, where no, he's no, at. No, he's okay. going into the strap this time. The buckle is on Vitaly yeah. Laletin, which will give a slight advantage to Dave Chafee, given that this is a hand and wrist oh. battle so far. Both guys looking to control the top of the hill. The outside game is where this oh. one's at. Now, let's see where round two goes. Okay, 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 okay. You see Vitaly not wanting it tight. He wants that strap to stay a little bit loose. He's obviously invested in busting the wrist back of Dave Chafee. I would think this this round and this setup, the strap favors Dave. Don't move. We see the audience coming live. That's yeah. That was a lot of movement. A lot of movement from Vitaly Letting coming forward, trying to get a better grip. 
The wrist rise dominance from Dave is looking good, and perhaps Vitali is feeling that a little bit there. He's looking for that adjustment, trying to get a little bit of extra pronation higher into the hand of Dave Chafee. Dave is doing really good versus top rollers. Really yes. good. Really good versus top rollers. Here we go, round two. Good start from both athletes again, and it's Dave Chafee on the slide offense in the air. There he's taking the risk control, but there's that defensive drive. A lot of drive. From drive. Vitali. He's looking Run, to get Running the foul arms. on Dave Chafee. Running foul on Dave Chafee. He has the hand back. He's actually bleeding Vitali right now. Running foul, though. Wow. Dave Chafee is going to have to do it again. He transitioned to a press and got the hand back. Yeah, press and the wrist was back, so he had the options of top roll this or press. This doesn't look good for Vitali at all. Because Vitali doesn't have what Gennady had or what Morozov had, who <laughs> were able to <laughs> fatigue one, the one elbow foul for board. Dave. One elbow foul for Dave. Still, still live in this second round with Dave Schaefer now on the elbow foul. Restart. But good signs right now for the American, uh, Dave Chafee, getting ahead in the hand and wrist. What this is going to mean is that Vitaly Lalevin is going to need to find an adjustment. Given his style is, is almost exclusively top roll, the options are very limited. There's not many things that he can do. He can either run further or he can rise higher. But at the moment, it is Dave Chafee who is in control of that rise. So let's look for potentially Lalevin to really run into a defensive position. Even more so. I'm just looking at Dave's hand. It looks really, really pumped. Like it's been, it got just three times bigger than we saw in a pre-show. You seeing this? Yeah. And Vitali's got to latch onto that. He's got to not yeah. lose hope. He's got to know that Chafee runs out of steam yeah. in rounds three, he just, four, five. The problem comes when you put yourself in compromisable positions. And he needs to not lose his hand. He needs to stay together and keep working, keep working and working and hope by the round four it all comes together. Like we saw in Morozo versus Dadikian match. We can see a very calm and controlled Dave Chafee. Still no sweat on his forehead. If we compare that to other matches gone by where he was pouring in sweat against uh, opponents that he lost to. So these are good signs for Dave Chafee at the moment. But Halilaletan, the man who needs to make the adjustments. Let's see what he comes up with. Round two restart about to get underway. Dave's looking very good. And there is the start and great drive from Dave Chafee. He's in control of the side pressure battle. He's got the wrist compromised. Laletten now dragging. But the, oh, there's a good side pressure from Laletten. Dave flirted with the idea of pressing. And Laletten surged sideways. And now Laletten on the red line defense trying to get Dave the wants transition into the arm. Dave Vitali knows it. Waiting. He, doesn't, he doesn't allow. He doesn't. Yes, as soon as he transitions. But still, a lot of drive. Do nothing. Look, look, Vitaly did everything right then. He yes. waited. He timed his side yeah. pressure perfectly. But Dave was up to the challenge, just committed to getting into that press position and drove to the pad 2 0. That took a lot out of Dave, for sure. And Vitaly, of course, too. But uh, I think round three will be the definitive round where, we've, where we see where this match goes. Because there's still the opportunity that both of these guys are fatiguing in a similar sense. It may not look it right now, but Dave Chafee's hand, you've got to realize, is running out of fuel. The arm of Vitaly Lelitin is the thing that's in trouble. He's, his pronation is good. He's able to get Dave's wrist back, but it's the arm of Vitaly that is struggling. So the question is going to be, can Dave get to four rounds before his hand is in trouble and Vitaly can start to take over? At the moment, it looks good for Dave. If, if round three, Dave wins, Vitaly needs to hook him. <laughs> Just hearing that blows my mind. I can't imagine seeing it, but I agree with you. Look, w w Dave has lost hey. rounds in the hook yeah. in matches gone by. Yeah. It's funny because Dave is such a strong power puller. We always think of yeah. him as like, no way would you go in a hook with Dave. But, but he kind of neutralizes your hand and he just drives you to the side. But when you don't fight for that hand, for that high spot, when you put it on him, you know, you can see Dave Chafee icing the forearm we'll there in the, the, both the, the, the flexes and the extensors and in the hand. Arm wrestling undoubtedly pumps your hand. The ability to maintain control over your hand and wrist 
and you can see the Aussie Armourist there assisting there. Dave Chafee's arm would weigh 10 kilos by itself. It looks that pumped right now. Yeah. Jake's struggling to keep it up. <laughs> There's a line to clip for later. That's what she said. Round number three coming up. You can see chalking up there from Vitaly Lerton and Dave Chafee. Interesting battle right now. The, the fatigue, the endurance. We talked about it prior to this match that it would become a factor. Both of these guys uh, have fought in the hand and wrist. It's Dave Chafee leading 2-0. Let's see what Vitaly Lerton can bring to round three. You can hear the breathing starting to increase on the table. Not sure whose breath it is we're hearing, but you <laughs> yeah. can hear the breathing. It is there. These guys are working hard. Dave's again looking for the referee's grip. He, he's not even holding on. He just keeps pulling mm. back. Yep. But Tyler Letton trying to use these moments to add extra fatigue. He's behaving perfectly. So it is Dave who is... The bad guy in the eyes of the refs right now. And Vitaly using that static threat to try to get some value into the hand of Dave Chafee. Yeah. Still no strap agreements. I'm, I find that interesting. They yeah, they could just... Like yeah. they'll, they'll undoubtedly slip here. I don't think anyone is going to pin either outside the strap. But what that tells me is they they both still back, each, back themselves to win the fatigue battle outside of straps. They want to put work in their opponents. And here's where they're going to do it. Don't move. Round number four. Yeah! Boom. Better start from Vitaly. There we go. Elbow there we go. Elbow foul Dave. Dave because he's wrist. Dave, Dave dumped for the slip too early. Yeah. And Vitaly perfectly timed where he grip, grabs the fingers and actually was in a great position where he could have potentially finished the match. But Dave recognizing that and running for the hills with a deliberate foul. It would be great if Dave comes up. He's like, strap. <laughs> One foul on Dave Chafee. Referee's grip. referee's grip. Vitaly has found something here. Outside of the strap, this, is, this, this is what we're talking about. The hand of Vitaly is getting control over the hand of Dave. Dave just wants to get tied to his opponent and use his arm and his wrist rise. But right now, Vitaly has an opportunity. He's got Dave on one foul and an opportunity to prevent the slip from happening. Here we go, round three. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Boom. Vitaly Lerton. Much better from Dave. Much better from Dave. Vitaly was trying to do the same thing, not allow him to escape, but still. It was commitment from the from Dave Chafee. Come on, Dave. Just side pressure just and back pressure. He, he didn't muck around. False start on Dave, did I hear? False start, False start oh, on Dave. So, come on. So Dave did drive hard. We saw that extra bit of enthusiasm there, which perhaps did earn him. This will help Vitaly Lerton. Dave Chafee is yeah. going to have to do it one more time. Every time it goes longer, it favors Vitaly in my eyes. Dave is a powerhouse, but he will soon run out of call. So no strap still. Just a false start on that. No yeah, foul accumulated from but Dave. But that was in the referee's grip, so it should have been a foul, I guess. Yeah, I think that's second foul for Dave. So perhaps the second foul, we'll get clarification yeah. on that one as we yeah, move we'll, forward. We'll see if, if anything changes, but... Uh, wait, wait, wait. You can see Dave perhaps flop slipping there. Dave, bad Ooh. decision. And it's Vitaly Lalettin with the win. Dave, you can see, very casual there. He, he came forward thinking that he yeah. would get the flop slip uh, for yeah. free. Yeah. And it's cost him big time. 2-1. Two, 2-1. One. Two, one. Like I said, the third round, that's the one. Dave hates number three. What, all what, I can what, say. What, what went through Dave's mind then? Why did he, why did he do that? I think he felt it would be better because he knows what Vitaly is expecting him to go backwards and trying to catch him. The instant replay will show it. It was complete control from Vitaly Lalettin as Dave just very casually comes forward there, but he's cut off, perfect control. He, he, he loses I, his wrist. I feel like he missed the start also. A little uh, bit. Not a huge amount of concern in the face of Dave Chaffee, but yeah. still a big error. Um, look, if you're in Dave Chaffee's camp right now, if you're, if you're a Dave Chaffee fan, uh, you've got that feeling again right now. That feeling that we've had so many times a day where Dave comes out, looks so dominant in rounds one and two, gets the job done, you think he's going to go on with it, and then the pendulum starts to swing. I'll tell you how it is. Vitaly gave him two of the hardest first two rounds we have seen anyone give to Dave, for sure. Vitaly Lalettin is right there in the top of the world rankings. It uh, doesn't matter how this match goes. I think he's, uh, 
he can fight with everyone. The last guy that beat Dave is right here, Artyom Morozov. Maybe that's the next match. Yeah, and we see Artem Morozov in the corner of Vitaly Lalatin as well there. So no doubt uh, some good words of wisdom being passed on there. You can see the man, uh, Artem Morozov, there in the back of the screen there. Uh, interesting point right now, this balance. This match is balanced. It's 2-1 to Dave Chafee. But if you had to pick a favorite from here, Ray, who do you think is ahead right now? Vitaly. I knew you would say it too. I knew you would say it. Vitaly Lalatin is in a good position right now. It's pressure on Dave Chafee to work out how he gets to straps without losing a round or compromising his hand. Yeah. It's it's becoming a little bit of a hard job like he had with Levan where he just couldn't slip. Where he just couldn't slip. I think that strong hand is not used to slipping. This is why it's he's so comfortable on holding on even if it doesn't favor him. Yeah, let's look at the grip that Vitaly Lalatin looks for. No doubt he's going to Dave's look to control again looking that hand for arrest. referee's grip. Dave yeah. needs to rise hard. He needs to hit that back pressure and time his time the dump of his wrist. If he dumps early, Vitaly Lalatin will control it. He's got to back his wrist rise, stay with his back pressure and not overcommit to an a, to an attempt to slip. They went so hard. Dave is bleeding. Vitaly Round Lalatin. number four. Yeah, Vitaly looks calm, collected. He knows. He knows this is the moments where everything can change. But I feel like even Dave, there, you can see that Dave. Dave knows where he's at. He knows that endurance is a, an issue, and you can still see that he's attempting to remain calm. He's not flustered. He's breathing slowly. Better from Dave Chafee this time, oh. but perfect transition from Vitaly Lalatin again. That that is definitely going to be a foul on Dave Chafee as he. Thought that he had the slip secured, but Vitaly Lalatin changed to a nice exploding hand technique and followed uh, Dave Chafee off the back of the pad as he tried to slip it. So that will definitely be a foul, I'm certain of it, on Dave Chafee. That was close to javelin, but it wasn't javelin. <laughs> I just can't stop. We're the, waiting on referees. Referee, I, think, I think both referees the think there was that a one to double have a elbow foul. Vitaly Lalatin potentially coming off the front of the pad. If we get to see the replay. Yeah, we have the referees right here. You think it was double elbow foul? So we're looking oh, at... Oh, did we're he looking push at or the, not? Oh, yeah, he pushed him. There off. was a push, but was there a foul before it? Let's have a look. The elbow comes off. Oh, I think foul on Dave Chafee. We're looking at the replay right now. Yeah, Dave's elbow was already off before Vitaly started pushing him. Mm. Yeah, definitely a foul being awarded to Dave Chafee. The referee is now just looking at the replay. It did appear that Dave Chafee's elbow comes off the pad well and truly in advance of Vitaly Lalatin pushing forward. Feels like Vitaly pushed him off. Pushed him off, so... Different opinions. Split the opinions. What's the call? The What's the call? What's the call? What's the call, referees? We'll find out. They it just, feels like it's going to be a just, foul on just Vitaly. Left. <laughs> Dave's off getting his arm on. Such iced, a as we disrespect. Speak. So they're going to call it a javelin. Yeah, I think that was a javelin. One elbow, one foul one for javelin pushing foul. off the pad for Vitaly. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I called it. You called it. I called it. <laughs> the famous or the infamous... Javelin. The from Vitaly Lalatin, they're calling that one. And so to, to explain the rules there, it was Vitaly Lalatin. It is illegal to push your opponent deliberately off the pad. Yeah. Uh, you must always be making an attempt to pin your opponent, not to push them off. Vitaly was inspired by a Canadian, but not the Canadian you all think of. Round number four. <laughs> Boom. There's that position again. Vitaly has the fingers once again. This time this it's a foul time it on, should on be a definitely. Foul. They're gonna, foul we're gonna review this one or again. Maybe, maybe even a pin. Yeah, they're gonna Referees have to look at this are one. coming back. Yes. Oh no, they're just there talking. If we look at the replay here, it was definitely a compromised wrist from Dave Chafee. Uh, Vitaly gains control of the hand of wrist, and the question is going to be. The question will be. Well, elbow foul for Dave. It's there we an elbow go. Foul for Dave. Elbow foul, Dave Chafee. Yeah. 
Vitaly Lelettin is cornering Dave right now. He's not letting him get to the strap. We see a lot of good technical, smart, strategical arm wrestling in the main event from two of very, very experienced arm wrestlers. Vitaly Lelettin, Dave Chafee. Two to one currently the score with both guys on the foul. Still no strap, Vitaly Lelettin. He has sensed that that is his best opportunity to absolutely prevent this match and Dave Chafee this time in trouble once again a bit of a foul potentially there but Dave Chafee now committing to the flop press unable to get there elbow foul again as he backed off I thought he was going to get it but he oh, did he hurt himself then I hope not what's the call Dave Chafee what's, looks good what's, what's the call we need to see referee winner it's it's winner uh, Vitaly Letin Vitaly two, two. Letin takes that win as Dave turns uh, it around yeah he tried for the flop press but wasn't able to get it and then just conceded because he felt like he was going to hurt himself if he stayed there yeah Dave Chafee in trouble now two apiece Vitaly Letin has found the right lane and that is preventing the slip that's the chink in his armor right he can't like I think he's too strong in, in the sense where he, he's not used to slipping. He's usually, everyone else is slipping or trying to slip with him. And I think it's such an uncomfortable position for Dave to be in right now. He can, let's see if he can commit to a flop wrist press or something like that just to get that strap. In a strap, it all can change. I think it's still pretty damn even. Yeah, especially if it is in the strap, I give the edge to Dave Chafee. Outside of the strap, it's clearly the Letton. Uh, the odds of it going to the strap, at the moment, the Letton is walking the tightrope perfectly. He is controlling left and right of center as Dave attempts to slip. We'll get a couple of replays here. You'll see this final pin. Dave's wrist was compromised. He commits forward, looking for the flop press. You think he's going to get it, but then Dave at the last moment concedes there, pins himself with a sudden... Uh, sudden change of direction. You can see, obviously, the wrist angle, the, the elbow, it was not in a good position. Vitaly was not letting go of those fingers. And Dave Chafee unable to get the slip, conceding that round. That's but the main event. 2-2. Two, two. What else can you ask for a main event? Like I said, I would be terribly surprised if this turned out to be a war. And it is. Technical... Still, any, still anyone's game, this one. Vitaly yeah. Letton is looking good right now. He's found that, that, that position that's working. If Dave can get the straps, it, you have to say it still favours him there. Where can he go? It, hopefully there is no injury through the elbow so far. Dave Chaffee looking good, nodding to the referee that he is good to go. I like to go straight to the referee's yeah. grip. Hand open. open up. They will be happier if it's the referee's grip and the straps, yep. for sure. Let's see what okay. he has changed. You see a much lower grip from Dave. This, uh, I still Don't think he's going to try to top roll, but he's going to try to hold on and actually win. <laughs> but Vitaly oh, Too much Vitaly Lalletin. Decisive. Foul. Foul. Elbow foul for Dave. I think his elbow came off while Vitaly was driving his arm. Let's see if we get a replay from a potential another camera angle. We kind of missed that one. But Dave Chaffee on the foul there, pulling his elbow deliberately off the back of the pad as that attempt of a pin from Vitaly Lelettin occurred. Dave Chaffee back against the wall. Vitaly Lelettin coming home strong. Round number five. Don't move. Regrips are going to be so critical right now. Who oh. will get it? And we are off to the straps. straps. Here we go. Wow. It is not over, Ray. Hey, this, could, this could be even a silver bullet. Oh, my goodness. Dave Chafee has found his way to the straps. This is where he had success in rounds number one and two. You can see he is working hard. He's in pain. He's grimacing. He's breathing heavy. But he has got to the place he needs to be. Vitaly Lelettin now. Can he survive in the strap? Dave is looking really good. Both of them are looking. This is really balanced match. This is exactly like we said, a freaking coin toss. You couldn't ask for better arm wrestling as your main event. Both of these guys, like I said, top of the pile when it comes to world-class elite super heavyweights. Both of these guys, as high as number two in the world at, the, at their peak, only having been stopped by Levan Zaganishvili. Both of these guys. And we're locked at two apiece right now with two rounds to go. Anyone's game anyone's game 
Let's see if the strap favors Dave, how much endurance he has left, how much side pressure commitment he has left, and how much of a back pressure of Vitaly Letin has suffered. Yeah. Look for Vitaly to take the hand control straight away from Dave, but look for Don't Dave's, move. Just Dave's to go, arm sideways just to go sideways. Don't yeah. move. And there's the side pressure drive. Locked at center. Still, Dave is Dave in Chafee. it. Still in it. The arm power of Dave Chaffee is surviving. Vitaly it's exactly is looking the, for the pin. opposite position it was for first two Ooh, rounds. Hang on a second. That might be a push. Foul, foul on Vitaly the yeah, for pushing. That was a foul. Yeah, foul, Dale. Wow. Definite push there. Wow. It was Vitaly Lalatin changing the direction there. A second foul of that nature where he's pushed his opponent deliberately off the pad without an attempt to pin. Both guys are getting pumped. They're both redlining. This is pretty much what happened round number one and two, just the opposite. It's fascinating looking yeah. at the tactics going on too. You can see both guys so recognize yes, yes, yes. when they're the when they're in trouble. They're using they're the attempting to use the rules to their maximum capacity to be able to gain the advantage they need. Vitaly the Latin well, what yeah, we saw there looked like a deliberate push. The referees suspect that they're going over to the cameras to, to confirm whether it was the case. Vitaly was inches away from a pin. Dave had the stop, though, and there was a sudden change in direction from Vitaly Lalatin, who, who looked to cause the foul. Let's have a look at the replay if we get it. The referees are consulting. Dave holding his pronator, his back pressure, very good. And then Vitaly tried to transition to a press. You can see Lachlan Adair there helping out Dave Chafee in his corner there. No doubt Dave Chafee is pumped. Lachlan Adair working on the peck in the delt there of Dave. Ice is in the hands. This man is pumped in through the forearm right now. The referee is still looking and reviewing. Very interesting call coming up. We'll see which way it goes. This match on a tightrope. Mm. It's, it's a weird one. It can, let's see what the referees call it. It's very hard to tell from the angles we're seeing. But I feel like Vitaly was just transitioning to a press. It wasn't deliberately mm. trying to push him off the pad. Very interesting call coming up. We'll wait to see what it is. The call is one foul, elbow foul on Dave Chafee. Dave They're Chafee. happy that it was an attempt to pin from Vitaly Lalettin. So we will restart that one. We'll be in the strap still, but there is a foul on Dave Chafee. Kim, 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 Kim. We can see the blood pouring out of the hand of Dave Chafee. The regrips and the. The regroups from Vitaly Lalettin have taken their toll. We can see the look of concern in Vitaly's eyes there. He wants to be certain, certain that he is not being given the wrong call here. Tim, Tim explaining that the foul happened before the pin. This is why he's, because he wasn't sure that Vitaly wasn't pushing him off the pad. They looked at the replay and you can clearly see that Dave, Dave's elbow came off before the pin. It wasn't deliberate press on the elbow. So... I think at this point Dave has two elbow fouls. Look at the pump in Dave's right arm there. Insane. That like looks I said, like a leg. four times bigger. Four times bigger. <laughs> you could, it okay. looks like you could drive your car oh down the veins on the, on his forearm. Forearm. <laughs> there, yeah. they are pumped. Right now we are two apiece. At this point, I feel very comfortable taking on Dave Chafee. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you have that one. <laughs> but right now. Two fouls on Dave Chaffee. Hey, this is a great, One foul great on main event. We want to thank everyone for buying the pay-per-view, for tuning in, for supporting King of Table, supporting arm wrestling. This is the best hard King of Table has ever had. Absolutely. And this main event is coming down to the wire. Vitaly and Dave Chaffee, anyone's match right now. Yeah, anyone can take it. Don't move. Round number five. Who wants it more? About to get away. Who wants it more? Don't move. Ah! Early start Early there start. from Vitaly. Vitaly Lettin, second elbow foul. the foul because it oh, was the ref's grip, so you can't. There's no warnings in the ref's grip. So the immediate foul, two fouls apiece foul. now. You have two fouls, Dave. Two fouls for both arm wrestlers. Don't move. And the start is away. The side mm -hmm. pressure defense of Dave Chafee is there. The hand and wrist is compromised, though. But it's Dave Chafee defending whilst Vitaly Lettin surging, looking for the pin. He's close. He's millimeters away. Dave Chafee. Oh, so there it is. Gets it. Winner.
He gets it. Vitaly wow. led it three to two. Three to two. Oh my goodness. The real question, round number six, will be: Can Dave slip, and will the buckle change things? Because right now, Dave had the buckle. He was in a bad, worse position. He was defending very well. His pronator, his back pressure. <laughs> but I feel Vitaly just wants it more at this Vitaly point. Vitaly Lelettin, yeah, he's hitting. You can see the heart in the way that he's hitting. Look at it. He he gets the position he millimeters needs to. Millimeters away. Just millimeters driving. away. Millimeters away. And Dave Chafee's arm is his last defense right now. You can see his wrist is compromised. He's kept his pronation, but he's levering through, trying to just get some degree of defense and opening up the position of Vitaly Lelettin. But... To no avail, and it's Vitaly letting one round away from victory now. I think Vitaly is learning a lot about his arm wrestling in this <laughs> match. Like, he's fighting without the hand. Imagine that. <laughs> yeah, it's both of these guys are losing yeah. their wrist, wrist flexion. They're pronating through yeah. their thumb. Dave, it's Dave fantastic is, even, even Dave's defense is very out of what he used to do. You know, so both of them are tested to their limits. It's a great match. And so right now, does Dave need to change anything, or does he just look for the little differences in the buckle? He does needs, he stick to the same game plan? I think same, but he, he cannot miss the start. He just has to get a little bit more of a center, more of a center, more of a center. How much of, is it, how much of this match is mental right now? I think it's everything mental. It's down to who yeah. really can dig deeper yeah. and, and actually commit harder and just want it more. We know that Dave has like legendary side pressure and he could just freaking commit to it. And I think he I, could I, actually I gotta say, something. Vitaly looks incredibly emotional right now. Yeah. We, we've heard yeah, about the emotions right, yeah. from Dave Chaffee, but I'm seeing emotion in the eyes of Vitaly yeah. right now. Yeah. This yeah. means a lot to both of these men. I think so. Both of these men have been as high as number two. They've, they've taken a couple of losses and people have written them off, but the winner of this match charges straight back up into that leaderboard. Yeah. And you can see the emotion in the eyes there of Vitaly Lelettin. Fantastic stuff. Great match. Great match. Great main event. King of the Table 5 right here in Dubai. Maybe the last round we're going to see today. Dave Chafee looking for the fight back, and he wants to take this one to a silver bullet. Vitaly Lelettin will do everything within his power to finish it right here. Leading three to two, he is one round away from victory. It is Dave Chafee who has to come up with the comeback. Elbows down. Acknowledgement from both athletes there of the battle that has been. A lot of respect between them. Straight to the referee's grip. Don't move. It feels terrible being these kind of armistice matches, but these Don't are the armistice matches we live for. Good start from Vitaly Lelettin. He's got their wrist control, and there is a slip. Oh, what are they going to call it? It could be. What are they going to call? They don't want come to call on, it. Come on, let's Prematurely, get this. they're going strap to check. On this one. We want to see the strap. Strap, strap it up. Strap, strap. The strap. crowd starts to go into the chant for the strap. They want to see it. Hook too. Referee's going to do the right thing, and they're going to consult with this one. They're going to be looking at the rules as far as King of the Table goes. Is they're going to go back to watch They're going to review if replay. it's peg height. If it's yeah. peg height losing position, then it will be a loss. But if it's above peg height, it will be a strap. The review is going to be critical. Referee's now looking at it. Strap it up, the referees say. Yes. Good news, yes. ladies and gentlemen. Dave Chafee is not out of this one yet. We they will see round it, six in a strap. And we will strap it up. And the buckle is on Vitaly Lelettin's hand. Silver bullet round is very, very close. Who wants it more? Who will seize the day? Who will seize the opportunity? Who will become the champion of this match? Both guys, great effort. Let's be honest. It's great match, great pulling. Couldn't ask for more from a main effort. Both no. guys going absolute red line, leaving nothing on the on the table at all. Blood out of Dave Chafee. Both guys emotional about this match. It clearly means a lot, and we're going down to the wire. Awesome. I want to come forward a little bit. This way. Hey, look. You keep coming back. Just a little bit this way, okay? Center, please. Yeah, center right here. Okay. Don't move. Open. 
Both athletes now trying to gain their composure, thinking about the task ahead. As this strap goes on, every little millimetre is critical to their game plan. Vitaly Lelettin, we know he has early access to side pressure. Uh, he's taken control of the hand and wrist in all of the last three rounds. But at Dave Chafee, if we remember back to his early rounds, he had success with the press. Once he got his shoulder behind, uh, he was able to get the finish. Dave Chafee is going to look to just stop the match as close to centre as he can and then find shoulder commitment. Vitaly Lelettin, he's going to want to surge hard, sideways, early. He wants to get defence, get Dave Chafee into an open position where he can then swing around on his arm and get a victory. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go, round number six. Don't move. Dave's looking like he's going to dive in. Like he's, look, full yeah, Dave, Dave wrist coming wrist. straight into the press. Full he's going straight for it. Wrist. There we go. He's in the press. And it's Dave Chafee. Dave Chafee. Oh, my so goodness. Close. Oh, we have stopped it with the elbow foul. Oh. Like he wasn't even fighting for that the is, That he is where. He was giving everything oh. up. Oh. That is where I hate the running fouls. Why wasn't that a runner? That For me, that is just let it continue. Dave Chafee in the offensive position, probably one second away from a yeah, decisive victory. One second victory. from winning. One and second from winning. Vitaly Lelettin pulls off the back of the pad and they restart it. Why do they restart that? I hate it. Next time, it, when they do a rules meeting, you do not destroy Armistead. You make it better, okay? Uh. We should be in a silver bullet right now, but Dave Chafee is going to have to do that one again. Dave Chafee shaking his head, not happy with that situation. He felt like he had done everything to get that victory earned, and rightly so. He had committed his shoulder very bravely. He was in Vitaly. Vitaly was running off the back of the pad because he was about to be defeated. He could feel that. He could sense that. The whole idea of a running foul is to prevent exactly the situations that we've got but here unfortunately we are going back to the table and the big crowd is starting to ramp up they want to see the silver bullet they know that dave chafee had that round they're behind him as we go once again to the strap on round six i feel like pendulum just swung the other way dave is full of energy vitali feels the danger he understands the situation they will fully commit to a flop wrist press. Yeah, Dave knows that he can do it now. Yeah. Vitaly, though, he now knows it's coming. Will we see more back pressure and a hit in a defensive sense, perhaps, from Vitaly Lelettin? Will he try to punch him out of the shoulder early? But you can see, once again, Dave Chavey's committing. He's already turning that he shoulder he forward. Doesn't, he doesn't give a F about that hand. <laughs> Zero. He's like, I don't care. All side pressure from Dave Chafee. Here we go. But good start from Vitaly Lelettin. But here comes the shoulder, shoulder behind. Very Dave good position. Chafee. So close. Beautiful stuff. So close. Down pressure now, just Dave moments away. Here it comes. Their There's the transition. Can't so get the victory. Close. Vitaly Lelettin holding on. He is fighting back. And Dave Chafee can't quite finish. Another drive from Dave Chafee. But it's Vitaly oh, Lelettin. He's still fighting deep. for it. Still Both fighting. guys red lining. Wow. Right now, Dave Chafee starting to breathe heavy, looking for the opportunity so to serve. Close, so but here close. comes elbow foul. Elbow foul, elbow foul Vitaly Lelettin, second foul. Oh my oh goodness, my Ray. God. This is a This is up. awesome. <laughs> wow. Like Dave cupped his fingers and he lost connection of his small finger, his ring finger. And I felt that made a big difference. Like he was pressing, but there was nothing to press with. Unbelievable, wow. unbelievable stuff here. Both arm wrestlers digging as deep as they can. They know that it's it's now or never. Both both these guys. Dave Chafee's commitment to this press. You can see the pain is in. He's never committed it's like this. It's bloody. From the go. It's dirty. He is it's going red straight in. Wow, this and is how about Vitaly the Lettin there? He was done. He was gone. It was over. And he said, no, it's not. He just held on. No. Amazing stuff. Commitment from both. This, these are the arm wrestling matches. You will always remember. This is probably one of the best wars we have seen in a long time. Now, this heavyweight when we think about what is going to determine this match, it's down to pure heart now. It, it really is. These guys are going to get strapped back up, and they're going to go again. And we're going to go to the same position. It is... 100% down look, to bravery and courage. Look at that bag, look at that bag yeah, in front of blood you. Blood all over the table. Oh. <laughs> this is amazing. This is violence. Yeah, this is fantastic. 
Dave Chafee, Vitaly Lelettin, living up to the main event in the best possible fashion. The crowd just came alive. Amazing, amazing arm wrestling. This one comes down to courage now, right? There's mm. nothing but courage. Yeah. Courage wins this. Yeah. I think both guys said, fuck it. <laughs> Exhaustion from both men now. Both of these elite super heavyweight arm wrestlers, they're sweating, they're breathing heavy, their arms are trashed, they are bleeding from their hands and wrists. Their elbows would be inflamed to a degree you just simply could not imagine. Dave Chafee's elbow would be so painful right now. The bicep of Vitaly Lelettin has nothing left in the tank. There's no offense for him anymore. He somehow has to try to find a way to pin Dave Chafee when Dave is coming forward straight at him with all of his shoulder commitment. And you can see it once again. We're going straight back there. Dave's coming at him and Vitaly's going to hit sideways. The real question is, can he stop him high enough that he can get his shoulder behind? If he can, silver bullet. If he can't, Vitaly Lexington takes it 4-2. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, round number six. There is the start, and it's oh, Dave, Dave Chafee. Dave Chafee, much better. Him, looking much for the better. down pressure. Really close. Really close. Vitaly Lexington holding deep. on. And Digs we got deep. a silver bullet. We're so close. We're almost there. The referee's checking that he doesn't touch his shoulder with the hand, which would constitute a foul. Lilletton digging at that in. Face. The effort Full being commitment. put in. Absolute red line from both of these phenomenal wow. arm wrestlers. Dave Chafee searching for the victory. Lilletton holding on with everything he's got. Who will take it? Round number six. It is an absolute bloodbath. Dave yeah. Chafee exhausted breathing deeply Vitaly Lelettin now catching his breath both guys backing off looking for the timing now who's going to have the courage to stay with this longer both guys start and it's Dave Dave Chafee. Chafee makes it three three we go to silver ball oh. ladies oh and goddamn gentlemen we have a silver wow. ball main event wow this is our wrestling at its best Ray Oh the God. best arm wrestlers in the world dying on the table, giving everything that they've got. Wow. Wow. I hope they're giving out bonuses because these guys deserve every single thing. It's amazing. Massive commitment. drive there from Dave Jones. The, look at the pain of Vitaly Lelettin as he attempts to defend. He is giving it everything. He's exhausted. Both men falling on the table as, as the referee calls it. What a match. Who takes it from here, Ray? I don't know. <laughs> like, again, we're going to start without the strap. We're going to start with the buck. If they get the strap, when a buckle on Dave's yeah, hand. Yeah, that's what we got to think about now. What are the corner men saying? What, are, what, are, what is going through Dave's mind? He, he's got to get to the strap. He's got to. Can Vitaly control him out of strap enough now? Is there anything left? Is, is the real question is how is Dave going to slip? Is he going to do a flop wrist press where he might get just pulled back? What does he try oh. to top roll? Yeah. yeah. Decisions, oh. important decisions right now. Vitaly, if what's going through his mind is he's thinking, I need to pin, I need to, I need to win this clean before we even get to the strap. That that arm got so heavy, they asked Lachlan Adair to be there. We have the ambulance officers in here, yeah. even patching yeah. up Dave Chafee yeah. in, in between rounds. I feel like Jake's like, hey, I can't lift this anymore. After round three, he's like, hey. <laughs> oh my goodness, you can see the blood all over Dave Chafee as the, the medics and the ambulance officers are patching him up. Let him go, I say, just let him bleed everywhere. Doesn't it's gonna matter. come off anyway. It doesn't matter at this point. This is what we wanted. This is like, hey, how many times we said coin toss? <laughs> I've never been more right in my life. I feel excellent about it. Take a bow, Dave Chafee, Vitaly Lelettin. Whoever goes on as, and becomes victorious in this, this is as good as arm wrestling gets. It's got strength. It's got technique. Better. It's got heart. It's got everything. And drama and we still have suspense because we, <laughs> we don't know who look at the bag it's <laughs> terrible i've never seen a blood soaked <laughs> egg like that before <laughs> this is fantastic and i love that you got to change sides and hold the other man's blood <laughs> <laughs> yeah let him bleed let him bleed S someone said arm wrestling isn't ufc i'm like okay Look at Vitaly is still Look at that, there. there it is. Look at the wow. blood soak. You can't even get it off. That's ingrained in. Put that in a museum. Yeah. 
<laughs> just saw it off. Yeah, yeah, the chalk would be stained yeah. red as well. Look at them, both of them. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to enter into the silver bullet round of our main event, King of the Table 5. This is what it comes down to. Dave, easy money chafing against Vitaly Lalet and the Russian bear. This is perfect for a main event. The best part is Tim asking questions and none of them like uh, even a little bit responding. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at look at the raggedness of these two. Vitaly Lalet's hair is covered in sweat. They went a distance. <laughs> round seven. The unicorn of arm wrestling. Round seven. Here we go. There's the start and it's control from Dave Chafee outside of straps. He's gone. Oh. It's a slip. They're going to strap it oh. over. Yes, here we go. Wow. It was the blood-soaked hands that got the slip there. Dave Chafee came out of the blocks early. I feel like what Vitaly Letton was doing, because usually it would be Vitaly outside of straps dominant, but I feel like Vitaly is conserving energy, saving it up for this inevitable battle in the strap. What we need right now is... Vital Letting committing to full shoulder press. Oh, don't don't make me do that. Oh my <laughs> goodness. If Vital Letting comes forward into a hook and wins this, oh, I will lose oh, it. Imagine, imagine, because that would be the best. It would be open. It was the best. That yeah. door would be open Absolutely right now. Absolutely open. D does he? Oh my goodness, Ray. Don't get me excited about this. <laughs> will we see? What is it going to be? What will be the determining factor? Is it going to be heart? Is it going to be the same press for top roll? Are we going to see something out of the blue? Something different? Is Vitaly Lelettin going to hook? Is Dave Chafee going to defensively top roll? Where is this one going? We're if, about to find if, out. If Vitaly chooses to hook him, Dave ends up in a bad position because he's giving up all that leverage is coming yes. down. And... Vitaly is all over his arm, over Pronator and everything. Yeah, because Dave Chafee is committing to the press. We can see already he's strapping that way. Right now, Vitaly Lelettin. He has an opportunity yeah. to rise, control the Pronator and control center. I, I think the back pressure is dead. There's, you know, nothing to do there. You cannot get out of it. So Now the buckle is on Dave Chafee's hand, so that is going to be a slight edge towards Vitaly Lelettin. But last time the buckle was on Dave's hand. Dave wasn't committing to a press. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Round number seven. This is the silver bullet. You can see that whole all-out commitment yeah. from Dave. Hundred percent. He is, he is full Jerry Cataretting this one. We just need a tongue. Dave Chafee tongue. wants some chalk for the elbow. The blood-soaked elbow is sweaty. He doesn't want to slip off the back of that pad. The tension in the room is rising. Silver bullet, ladies and gentlemen. King of the table five main event. It all comes down to this. Don't move. Here we this go. Amazing. Final round. There's the start Dave of Dave Chafee committing hard. So Dave close, Chafee so looking close. for the pin. Vitaly Lelet and Oli on the... Here comes the fight back. Vitaly Lelet and Lee oh, Wing off ball. that. The, the king's doom. It's an open arm oh. top troll. Dave Chafee now defending. He's holding center, breathing, waiting for the oh. time to commit. He oh. recommits. Oh. And oh. Oh. Takes the silver Ladies and gentlemen, wins this match. Dave wow. Easy Money Chafee takes the victory in the absolute match of the night. Look at this. Wow. Take a Dave bow, Chaffee. both gentlemen. As he embraces his wife there, what a victory. Dave Chafee coming through with endurance, heart, commitment. There's the celebration. Dave, hey, there's, there's no retiring. He was kind of pointing he might retire. Fuck that. <laughs> oh, what a performance. What a performance. What a match. Look at that style. These gentlemen. Massive effort. Let's cross now to Jake Ward, the Aussie arm wrestler. Wow, we, wow, we, wow, we. <laughs> Here we go. Before. I get into Dave Chafee. Put your hands together for the Russian bear, Vitaly Lelatin. That's what King of the Table is all about. Main event caliber matches, silver bullet. Now let me introduce you to the winner of your main event. Easy money, Dave Chafee.
Dave, I will try and carry this interview and do all the talking, mate. You are sucking in that much in. <laughs> that you're breathing in there. So, uh, it, uh, a, a lot of things were brought in to this match, and the one thing was endurance. People said you gas out early. They said you had no chance after three rounds. Wow. That's all I can say. Wow. What I had to do, just have that much more endurance, and I did. So it was the first time you ever gripped up Vitaly. Will we see a rematch? I would love to pull Vitaly again. That's one of my most memorable matches I've ever had. It's a war. I was up 2 nothing. He came back 3-2, and I came back. Oh, what a match. This is up there as one of the best matches of the year. One more, one more thing, Dave. One more thing now. It's happened. I just wanted to get you here. You are the king of the table five, main event winner, ladies and gentlemen. Easy money, Dave Chafee. What a performance from Dave Chafee there. Absolutely the best match of the night. It was. Yeah. It had everything. We saw the drama. We saw such a good commitment there we from dally, Dave Chafee. We totally just choose not to give up. Yeah, he both, was both fighting men. everything he could. He was giving everything he can. You can see Silver the, bullet. The technical, the the diversity where there was so amazing. Vitaly Lelatin, we thought he had it at, at one point. He, he was coming home with a wet sail, but Dave, it was his bravery and decision to commit to the press that yeah. was the turning point. Yeah. It opens up the armor, gets through, and he got the job done. Amazing stuff.